Tonight in Oxford, Ole Miss celebrates homecoming as it hosts Idaho in the next-to-last non-conference game of the 2013 season. The Rebels line up tonight for Game 3 of a six-game homestand, the longest stretch of home games played in Oxford in school history. Heading into tonight, the Rebels need just two more wins to be eligible for a bowl game, but the goals for this team are much higher than just the six-win mark. On an absolutely perfect fall day in Oxford, it's time for Ole Miss football. Idaho Vandals will start on offense, led by their senior quarterback, Taylor Davis, making just his fifth career start. There's the snap, play action, quick pass, incomplete. And these are the kind of situations that Idaho wants to stay out of. Wallace avoids the blitz, steps up, fires deep. He's got his man, Logan, caught at the two, and he's in the end zone here in the near corner. Touchdown, Ole Miss. That's a beautiful route, David. It was a double route. Jamez Logan had one-on-one -on -one coverage. He faked the post round and cut it back outside. Bo Wallace with plenty of time to throw and let it right over his outside shoulder, and it's a touchdown, Rebels. Quickly, 12.02 to go in the first quarter. The Ole Miss is on the board. That's a nice start for the Ole Miss Rebels. You wonder if they come out a little sluggish after last week's big game, but three and out on defense, a great start offensively. So right now, they do that. You go right now and get it. He's getting over the top right here. You see what I'm saying? So you sitting there waiting. You go get that. Don't be sitting there. Don't sit back. All right? Three backs in the backfield with a quarterback there on third and three. Hands it off to Baker, and Baker is eaten up at the 40-yard line. Blue jerseys everywhere. That'll set up a fourth down. John Youngblood got there first. Loss of two, fourth and five for Idaho. They look like they are indeed going forward. Right hash at the 40 of Idaho. Rebels lead 7-0. No, there's the snap. Play action. Fires near side through it behind the intended receiver. And they were not on the same page. It was thrown behind him a little bit. So Ole Miss will take over in great field position. Gun formation for Bo Wallace from the Vandal 40. Ole Miss leading 7-0. And what you do is make a pay. And you hand it to Jalen Roth, and He goes right up the gun. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. What a great read. That read option, David. Inside. Got the blocking. We're going to see it once again. Swindoll and Big Patrick Junin. And then you got, uh, of course, Jalen Walton with that breakaway speed. He gets a good crease inside and just in the secondary, nobody can catch him. Rebels are quickly out. Two scores. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Fourth and one. There's a handoff straight ahead, and that's going to be a first down of the 31 by Itavius Mathers. I train gets it from the 40. So a 50-yard effort, and he hits that one. He's got plenty of distance. Is it on target? Yes, it is. Andrew Ritter now is two for three from 50. And waiting for the snap back, and there it is. And the kick is on its way. Definitely has the distance. Hit the right upright. No good. Stan had a look at it. Stan, he just popped that upright. Well, if he was trying to hit that upright, he got it. I mean, as square as you could, bounce to the right. So. That was kind of dodged a little bullet right here to protect their 17-7 lead. Again for the left hash on first and 10 for 12. There's a handoff, and oh, this Walton got grabbed around the head, broke the tackle, got inside the five and dropped at the three. He was grabbed at the line of scrimmage. They didn't call it a face mask, but it spun him around, and Jalen Walton just kept on churning it. We don't get a 168-pound guy that could push any harder than Jalen Walton just did on those two plays. Two great inside runs, a nice push up front, and the Rebels are up. First and go. There's the handoff to Walton, and he sticks it in the end zone. The ball came out. The ball came out. Did he break the plane or not? And he so fumbled it in the end zone. They're indicating touchdown by the linesman here on the left side. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. And we're at halftime. Ole Miss 24, Idaho 7 at the break. If you really want to elevate the program and feel better about yourself tonight into the open week, you'll go out there and you'll put the throttle down and you'll play with some energy and passion. But man, you got to decide what you want out of this. Again, I told you that before the game. What do you want? I mean, focus. Elevate your expectations. Elevate it. And let's play a heck of a half and let's put the accelerator down and we're not taking it off. I don't know what you're doing. This, this will pay dividends down the road. Put the accelerator down and play. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And one, two, three.
great job there by number five, Octavius Mathers. Stuck right at the line of scrimmage, got past that tackle, kept his balance and rushed forward for a good five-yard game. One back in the backfield is Jalen Walton on second and nine. Bill missed 35. There's a snap to Wallace again. Pump fakes. He runs out to his right. Wants to go deep. He's got a man down there. Logan. Logan with the catch to the 35, to the 30, to the 20. He's gone. 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, man. Jamez Logan entered tonight with no TD. He's got two against Idaho. Well, the senior out of Houston, Texas, has been the star of this outside show tonight, David. Perfectly thrown ball, and Jamel just cruised into the end zone to put up point number 30. Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job, Turn it up a notch now. Turn it up a notch. Everybody good? Oh, it is 16. And in the backfield, here come the Rebels. All over the place. They strip the ball away. And in the end zone, we've got a touchdown there to Hendrick Collins. James Baker had it stripped. Collins took it away, ran it into the end zone for the score. It was a big lick by Hamilton. And Hooks that kind of set that up. An 11-yard return. And Ole Miss goes up 37-7. to David, that was an absolute jailbreak by that defensive front. Well, I got <laughs> <laughs> With their defensive ranks still paper thin due to injury, a mixture of young talent and seasoned veterans came together to stifle the Vandal offense. Game for Benetti now and handoff up the middle is Matters. He's got an opening. He's going to take it to the house, maybe to the 25, the 20. And he will not lose it. Touchdown. 64 yard touchdown run. He had a guy hot on his heels, but he just then shifted into another gear, ran away from him for the score. Once he broke through that second level, there was nobody who was going to catch I train. He takes it to the house for his second touchdown of the year. Neat goes in motion to the far side. There's the snap looking to throw is Bernetti. Dumps it right underneath. It's grabbed there at the 30 and taking it to the 15, the 10, the 5 and in the end zone. Touchdown Mark Dodson. The freshman from Memphis slipped out of the backfield. Hit him over the middle and Dodson found the end zone. He wanted to play this year. Told Coach Freeze that I don't want a red shirt. Put me on special teams. Whatever I can do. from the 35 of the Vandals. He's going to throw that one to the end zone. It's going to be caught in the right corner of the end zone by Collins Moore. Moore, the junior from Madison, Alabama, getting a chance to play late, has six in his pocket. So Ole Miss takes care of business with Idaho, one win away from bowl eligibility. 59-14, Rebels win with their fifth victory of the year. Open date next week, and then two weeks from now, it's the Rebels and the Razorbacks of Arkansas.